what is good guys <laughs> welcome back all right guys welcome back to the day in the life of a sneaker reseller who's trying to make it full time and make their mama retire so as y'all can see right here we got a lot of packages so that's a night y'all seen this in the previous episode these mulberry mids yeah so we copped a lot and then i came back and i was able to get five per person so camera woman we got five pairs each i have like about 12 of those i think those are going to be great in consignment so that's what i'm going to do even though they are like looking bad in the market consignment still is doing good you know what i'm saying you guys have to find ways to multiply your streams of income so if they're not doing good on online marketplaces like StockX and go oh i'm up on consignment or something but yeah we got some got some of these for those sixes at a sneaker meetup uh, these are pretty good these are kind of used but clean them up you know i know y'all want to see like the process of like cleaning the shoes listening the shoes and then shipping them out the whole process and i'll make sure to make a video on that but yeah we're gonna bring these all in we'll catch y'all in a bit We also went to a sneaker meetup to get these shoes for a close friend of mine. Shout out to my boy, North Shore Soul, man. He blessed up with a great ass deal. Got these UNCs for my boy, and I'm gonna bless him for the exact price I got it for you, because you gotta bless your boys, man. You guys gotta pay it forward to your boy, who be supporting your business from the very start. So I appreciate my boy, Joey. You know who you are. If you're watching the video, I support you, bro. Appreciate it. But yeah, we gonna move on, and we gonna bring these pairs in, so I'll catch y'all. All right, y'all, so a lot of y'all been asking me, you know, tips on how to start reselling sneakers. Y'all know me, I used to buy used sneakers and then I used to clean them up and then sell them for a higher price. So right now we at the Dollar Tree and we gonna get a budget sneaker cleaner, super cheap, that y'all could just go to Dollar Tree and get it yourself, so let's go. So right now we're looking for the cleaning supplies. So boom, number one, hand soap. You want bowls to hold your water. Some dish soap and we need a brush some sponges to the face four for a dollar it's a freaking deal six dollars well spent all right y'all so we got two brushes to clean the shoes you know to scrub them sponges for the softer materials on the shoe like the suede or anything and you know, came with like a whole 10 pack for a dollar. Got the bowl where you hold the water and the soap. And then we got hand soap, hand soap to, you know, really clean the bottom of the shoe or the top or whatever, clean every part of the shoe. And for the stuff that's really stuck on the shoe, you got the dish soap. So all this for $6. And you already got a head start to reselling sneakers. I got all this, look at all this value. Like if you don't have enough money for like all the sneaker cleaners, it's okay. You got Dollar Tree. Right now, I'm just doing some organizing. I'm trying to figure out what pairs I want to bring to consignment and what pairs I'm going to sell on my Instagram story right now. So I'm just kind of sorting things and putting things in one pile and then putting the other in the other pile that's going to get sent out and brought to a consignment store. So these right here, I'm thinking about like selling like this pile right here i'm gonna sell my instagram this pile right here this pile right here and right here we got some stuff that i'm gonna bring to consignment and then i also got some other used pairs and some other pairs that i'm gonna think about bringing like yeah but the car right now is loaded with pairs that i'm gonna bring to consignment organizing everything to make sure everything's just like right where i want it to be <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the pairs I'm bringing to consignment. I got, I got a few flavors, you know? Got some threes right here. You know, some starfishes. These is beautiful. Just got a pair of Yeezy slides. Just bringing a bunch of pairs to consignment, like a bunch of pairs that have duplicates in, or just like a few pairs that I know will sell well in the consignment store because you know you want those good summer colors or just like those summer shoes that are gonna do really good so yeah we're gonna bring all this in there i also got some fours in there all that stuff military black infrareds about to bring them to the consignment store right now and then i got a sneaker meetup at that mall so i'll catch y'all there hold on let me go get them uh. yo because you always be wearing the mask right yeah. 
Yeah, these ones, are, yeah, these 12s I might have to pass on. You got the hang tag with these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, can't, I probably left that shit at home somewhere. Uh, you couldn't do 169? No hang tag? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. 160? Fucking honestly, forgot that shit. I just keep it as a keychain. 150 and then I got you with cash apps though, whatever you want. Yeah, cash apps is fine. Alright, so man just came back and he asked if he wanted to sell me these for retail. And I was like, hell yeah. He got these for a gift and he didn't really want them, so you know, just got a retail score. Right now we at the mall, we about to bring some pairs over to consignment, so we'll see you there. Alright guys, so as y'all can see, got a lot of stuff in the mail. Also got a new pair of personals. Comment down below, these fire? Yeah, they fire, gang. Got these for steel. Uh, we also got a sale on these yesterday, so. Damn, they super tough. Anyways, these sold. And I'm gonna have to uh, ship these out. I gotta pack these up, unbox all these. I think they're all from Nike and some other resellers. So yeah, we're gonna get into that real quick. So I'll catch y'all. All right, guys, I know some of y'all wonder how the shipping process is. I got my shipping label right here. We're going to ship out these UNC One Lows. Just printed out the label. I'm going to print it out. I also have a bunch of shipping boxes right here. And if I only use those if I don't like reuse any of the shipping boxes that are already like folded up and stuff. But yeah, so I also have bubble wrap here as well. Got the bubble wrap in the corner. So I got this. I got this box right here. I'm gonna use it right here. It's a perfect fit. So I honestly don't even need a bubble wrap, but you know, I'm gonna add some anyways. It's just a cool amount, just a cool, not crazy, just cause it's already in a perfect shape with it. So double check it's the right shoes. Yes, sir. Sold them for 200. Market right now for these brand new is at $300. And what I do is I take off the previous shipping label and then put on the new shipping label. I got my tape and also more tape right here as well if I wanna use it. Uh, uh, uh. And then a straight after this, uh, I'm gonna put the label on and a straight to the post office after that. Yeah, we about to do that and then I gotta unbox all those packages right there. We're seeing you a few. Some used pairs, I'm gonna put these up on my story today. You know, we got some flavors today. Gotta be throwing these up for a good, good deal, man. Welcome back to the living room. I sold these pairs right here, these show cases, and only sold these. So I'm gonna be shipping these out. And I also sold these New Balance that I posted up. Somebody's gonna beat me up for these, so I don't have to ship them out. And just now I sold a pair of Panda Dunks in a size nine and a half. So yeah, got three shoes and gonna be packing them up right now so let's do it also am finalizing a deal for another pair of pandas trading it just a size swap this is a size nine and a half so i'm gonna get another size nine now we at the post office right now gonna drop off some pairs so be right back Pray. 